Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up the uh, the train. So uh, this this is a um, if you have played Act Three of Hello Neighbor or um, previous betas or alphas of Hello Neighbor, uh, you'll know about the train. The train is pretty cool, um, and I know a lot of people, especially me, uh, like to put the train into their mods. So, you can know, open you know, it, since I can't jump in, we'll just go up here. So, yeah, we can head into it, we can close it, we can close the doors, we can drive it, we can stop it, and we can reverse it. Now, I don't actually know how to make it go automatically, I haven't figured that out yet. Uh, but hopefully I will figure that out soon if I, and if I do end up figuring that out, I will make a follow-up video on how to make it go by itself. Uh, but I currently do not know how to do that. So I'm going to show you, uh, how to set that up. It's very easy. Uh, you only need three things. Um, but if you want to make, like, the puzzle where you have to figure out how to turn it on, uh, it's still pretty easy. You just need a power source. Um, or you can make, uh, the the puzzle itself a power source, um, which is pretty easy. There's just a little checkbox under electrical called, uh, called, um, is generator. If you click that, then it'll generate its own electricity. Um, but yeah, so what you want to do is under your content browser, type in train. Then you want to grab BP train and drag it into your map. Now you'll see a whole bunch of lines and crazy nonsense, just ignore that, you can click off of it for now. Then what you want to do is type in rail. Then you want BP spline underscore rail underscore prop underscore one. Now, we, play with, we played with spines, uh, splines a little bit in the last episode, That's the those are the, uh, the pipes that you can, uh, or the different things you can kind of move around and bend yourself. Um, so, the rail that goes around the house in Act 3 is actually a spline itself. So, we're going to take BP spline underscore rail underscore prop underscore one. Long name, I know. But then we're just going to want to take it and we'll just drag it up so it's above ground. And same as last time, we'll just grab the end. I'm just going to stretch mine out a little bit because I don't like how close it is sometimes. Uh, and then we'll just can, uh, hold down the ALT key, and then drag. And then if you can't do this, make sure that you are clicking on the box. See, if you can't get it to do this while you're holding down the ALT key, make sure that you click on it. Then you go to the end, and you click on the little box. Then if you hold down the ALT key, you should be good to go. Uh, we'll just make a little, little thing real quick. A little circle. No, a little too much stretch, a little too stretched out. Uh, then we'll just drag it some more. And we'll start to drag it over this way. And then once you start getting to the end, uh, what you want to do is you can't actually connect it. So there's no way that I currently know of of really connecting it. So you want to line it up as good as possible. Uh, you may need to rotate it, uh, but then once you've done that, just try and line it up. There you go, just like that. And the way that the uh, the the train works is that once it gets to the end, it'll automatically go back to the beginning. So if we just did something like we took it and then we did just like that, um, it would the when you're when you are done like the train would start here when it gets here it'll just teleport back to here so since we have it lined up so that it looks like it's connected but you can't actually connect it once you get to this point it'll actually teleport right to here and you won't even notice it because it's like connected but it's not now we need to get the train on the actual rails so to do that you want to click on the train and you want to scroll down until you see spline actor and click on none and then you want to scroll down 
until you find BP Spline Rail Plop Rail Prop underscore one. Now for me, I have two, so I'm gonna click on Rail Prop two. You're gonna click on Rail Prop one because this is probably your first rail. So you're gonna click on that, and as you can see, the second you click on that, it'll automatically put the uh, train on the uh, tracks. Now, if we were to do this right, if we were just to use it right now, it wouldn't work. Um, and I'm actually just gonna make a little platform right here, just so that there's some room to actually step onto the train. Just like a little stepping stool area, kind of. There you go, just like that. Uh, kind of shrink it a little bit. Just a little area where you can step on. Um, now if we were to try right now, the train would not move. Um, and that is simply just because there's no power running to it. So what you need is a generator. So we'll just get a steam generator, or a gasoline generator, not a steam generator. Um, steam generator should be the next tutorial, um, because it's pretty fun. It's it's good for a lot of uh, puzzles. Then what you want is um, tram. Wait, tram. If you type, nope, not trampoline. Uh, I think it's if you type in train, you you scroll down. It should be somewhere. Ah, depot, not train. My brain do be kind of stupid. <laughs> depot, no, depot. There you go. So you want to type in depot, and then you can just drag in this train depot piece if you want. You don't need to. Uh, this is optional, but it looks pretty cool. And then you want BP depot button. And if you do have the um, the depot, like the, the base, you uh, want to put the button into the, the base. Otherwise, it doesn't really matter. Uh, then you want the um, depot switcher. And as you can see, it's going to be rotated the wrong way. So you just want to kind of go like that. Just put it down in there. Just like that. Drag it over to the side. There you go. Uh, and you're, ne you're not going to get it perfect. It's pretty hard to get it perfect most of the time. Um, but, hey, that's pretty good, actually. It's not too bad. Um, then what you want to do is you want to get the button cover. And you want to make sure that all this is BP. Now, you're going to see there's a little, like, box outline there. That, this right here, this little box outline is where it's actually going to, like, open from. So we want that to line up with, like, the little mounting point here, if you're doing that. Otherwise, uh, just note that that box is where it's going to kind of lift up from. So it will start here, and it will lift up that way, uh, if the box is that way. So wherever this little box here is, is the way it's going to open. And we're just going to close that, close it up. And then the reason for this box is so that... When you hit this switch, this box opens, and then you can get to the button. Now, you want to connect this to this. So, under the switch, you want to look for electrical. It should be actually somewhere around here. It's somewhere. There it is. Electrical component. Now. If you don't want to put in the gasoline generator and you just want the switch and the button and the lid if you want, uh, that's perfectly okay. You can just click on this little box right here, generator, there you go, and now the uh, switch will make its own um, electricity, so you won't actually need to connect the switch to anything. The switch itself will act like a generator, uh, but we don't want to do that. We're going to connect this to here, so we're going to go connect to, we're going to click on none. Then we're going to click on Gasoline Generator 2. And that is this one. For you, it's going to be Gasoline Generator. Or, depending on how many gasoline generators you have, you're going to want to click on, or how many power sources, really. For us, it's a gasoline generator, because that's what we're using. It could be a BP switcher or um, an electrical switch. 
and if you have multiple of those in the map, uh, just click on the one you want it you want it to connect to. Go over here, and the one that you clicked on is going to be highlighted in yellow. Now that's the name, so it's BP Gasoline Generator 2 for us. Now, the reason why it's 2 is because we have another one over here, and this one is BP Gasoline Generator. So for you, it's probably going to be BP Gasoline Generator, uh, but for me, since I have more than one, it's BP Gasoline, gasoline Generator 2. Now we're going to want to click on this lid. No, no, I said, I said lid. Excuse me, sir. No. Uh, uh. Is this just non-existent now? Uh. I think our but oh there you go. Oh, ignore that. I think uh yeah you have to uh click on like the little box here if you wanna grab it. Uh that's okay. Maybe rotate that. I don't know. Move it a little bit that way. Um, then what you want to click on that, um, and then you want to uh, look for the electrical. So it should be actually right at the top. So under electrical component, you want to go connect to none, and you want to look for your depot switch. Depot switcher one. There we go. That should be it. So we click on that one. Then we're going to click on the button. And we're going to connect that to the lid. It's a little complicated, I know. Or no, we don't need to connect that to the lid. Never mind. Uh, we're going to connect the, uh, the train now to the button. So we want to click on that BP underscore depot underscore button. That is the name of the button. So we click on the train, and then we look for the electrical component, which should be somewhere around here. Yep, electrical component. Um, connect to, none. Then you're going to click on depot button, and there you go. You're all good to go. So now if we click play, as you can see, you can run over. As you can see, our first one here is turned off. We can... Uh, we can't open this because it's turned off. Now, in order to turn it back on, what you want to do, obviously, oh, oh, well, it looks like we did something wrong there. So, uh, that's okay. We'll, uh, see what we did wrong. So, we'll just maybe raise that up. There we go. I think what we did wrong was this was actually clipping through the, um, the, the, the thing you're that or it is set to on so let's check that so up here we're going to type in state yep so the state is set to on so what we want to do is you want to set the state to off and uh, you also want to set this state over here of the button to off there you go you can save and play now we run over. As you can see, the generator is on. Turn on off. Uh, we cannot get to the button. We can switch this. Oh, what's going on there? All right. Well, that's uh, that's okay. You can just uh, fix that. I'll show you guys how to fix that. Uh, you can press the button. And once you press press the button, yep, press the button, we can head over here, and it should open up, nope, uh oh, what did I do, alright, so what did we do wrong, so this is a uh, pretty simple, we forgot to connect it to a power source, so we, we so we do actually need to connect this to the depot switch. Also, to fix that, just rotate it this way, and up. There you go, it's fixed. <laughs> um, it's it's just a it's a simple fix. Um, it's it's really easy. It's just a matter of um, 
which way is it swinging. Okay, so it's swinging this way. Let's rotate it the opposite way so that it's going to swing upwards. Uh, so there you go. If yours was swinging downward too, um, there you go. It should swing upwards now when you click it. So this button is not connected to a power source. So we need that to be connected to a power source. Otherwise, it won't power the thing. So we want to connect it to the switch. So we want to go to the electrical component. Come on. It's somewhere. Here you go. And under connect to, you're going to add uh, an element. None. Then you want to look for depot switcher or depot button cover. Uh, I'm going to go switcher. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, then you can just click play. And we should be all good to go. So if we run over here, as you can see, the train is currently turned off. It will not do anything. You can open it. And then if we head over here, as you can see, if we turn this generator off, it does nothing. Turn it on. You can see it opens up that. Press the button. It will turn on the train. There you go. You can hop on in. I said you can hop on in. Close the doors. Get in. And yep. Click W. You can actually ride the train. It's pretty nice. But you can stop it. Reverse. As you can see, everything is going pretty good. Um, and one more thing. if uh, You can actually change the speed of your train. So if you click on train. Uh, you're going to want to look for train speed, which should, shouldn't be too hard to find. Uh, it's going to be near where we selected the rail prop, or the rail spline. And let's see. Do, 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 do. Right here, under rail prop, uh, you want to look for um, max speed. So max speed, you can lower that if you want to. You can make oh, uh oh, oh, <laughs> you almost froze. So you can make that five, if you want. Uh, you can make that two, and yeah. So now if we hop back into the game, you will see now when we activate the train. Uh, it will no longer go as fast, it will actually go much slower, so I'll turn the train on. You can see the train is on now. Also, if you touch the front of the train while the train is on, you will actually die and reset. Uh, so that's a quick tip. If you don't want to die and reset, don't hit the front of the train when it's turned on. There you go, we can head to the front here. Now if we click forward, as you can see, we're going much slower now. Stop it, reverse it. And there you go. So now you guys know how to uh, change the speed of a train, how to set up the train, and how to set up the little train puzzle. And as you can see, if I were to hit that, you can see it'll deactivate the train. Or if I have all of it selected and if I just deactivate the power source, you can see it'll all stop. And the thing will actually close. So uh, yeah, there you go. Now you guys know how to set up uh, your the train in your own Hello Neighbor mod slash world um if you guys uh want to see some more make sure to hit that like button and yeah with that being said i want to thank you guys for watching make sure to like subscribe ring that notification bell and i'll see you guys next time good